Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another favorites video and I'm just gonna share a handful of products that I've really been loving and using all month long for the month of April. I just realized today it was the first of May and I was like, oh, I gotta film this favorites video now because I just have been so busy with school lately. I got accepted into the psych program I really wanted. I've just been really excited about that and I'm trying to stay focused on like all my deadlines I have coming up and just getting things ready, like just in prep to start this pr new program and I'm really excited about it. So thank you to those of you who uh, gave me some really kind words and encouragement. It means a lot to me because school is something that is really important for me and it's something that I've always wanted to do for myself. I just wanted to say that real quick. Thank you guys so much and shout out to all my students out there. We got this. I am so proud of all of you who are out there continuously pushing the boundaries and just keeping it moving with your studies. Thank you guys for all of the kind words. So anyway, <laughs> okay, let's switch gears into makeup okay I have a couple of exciting products and it's not much it's just a handful to be honest with you guys because like I said in my empties video for April I've really been studying and focusing hard on my work for school so I just haven't uh, been wearing a lot of makeup so I kind of have more skincare stuff well it's just you'll see it's not that much <laughs> but anyway the first thing I have is this little skincare oil I bought this back in February so it's been a couple of months I'm towards the end of the bottle now but I still have enough probably Probably to last me through May. This is the Good Molecule Squalane Oil or Squalane Oil. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. I'm new to using this product. This is a plant derived oil and it's supposed to keep the hydration in your skin. It's like kind of to work as a barrier. Good Molecules is a brand that was created by Beautylish and if you guys have ever shopped with Beautylish before, they sell different brands. They have all kinds of makeup, tools, stuff like that. They created their own skincare line and it's really affordable and everything I've tried so far I like. I prefer to use this during the day because it is very lightweight. I have used it at night before too but I just feel like because of how quickly it absorbs into the skin it's just perfect to wear underneath makeup. It's perfect to wear out the door. doesn't matter if I whatever I'm wearing that day makeup or not. Light makeup day, heavy makeup day. I just use this no matter what as my my moisture for the daytime. It is perfect for that and for reference I do have dry skin and this is great for me. You can use it daytime or nighttime. I just prefer to use it during the day since it's pretty lightweight and it looks looks so beautiful. It just kind of gives your skin like that dewiness, youthful kind of glow. It looks like you woke up like that kind of thing. So I love it and it's meant for all skin types. Like I said, fragrance free, it's very gentle and I definitely will be repurchasing this as soon as I run out because I love it so much. And they also have a daily hydration oil, I think, but that's like an oil blend. I kind of want to try that one next because I heard good things about that too. So far so good. Everything I've tried from Good Molecules, I really like. Another amazing skincare product for me has been this one from CeraVe. It's a body lotion. It's their Itch Relief Moisturizing Lotion. I bought this, I wanna say the beginning of the month, maybe a little bit before April, but I've almost used up the whole bottle. I've used this every single day of this month and I'm, I'm gonna use it till I run out. It works so well for my eczema. It's not prescription, it's just over the counter and it is really great if you have itchiness, if you have like dry flaky skin, this does help kind of uh, counter that a little bit. I mean. It's it's not gonna take your eczema off or anything. Nothing really takes it away, but this just kind of helps relieve the symptoms of it. It helps take out a little bit of that redness and that irritated look. I had a, a huge breakout like on my arms just from stress. Sometimes I get like um, like stress kind of reaction when it comes to my eczema. If you guys haven't, you know how itchy it can be to the point where like sometimes it's almost painfully itchy? That's what I had and this really helped a lot and I feel like this is going to replace my other Vino, which is kind of a big deal because I've been using that like my whole life But I actually think that this helps relieve the itchiness and the painfulness more and aside from the anti-itch factor of it I do feel like it provides a nice amount of hydration and moisture to my skin I like the way that it's not sticky. It doesn't feel too heavy It's not like an emollient greasy type of lotion. It's just the perfect everyday body lotion I put this on after I take a shower or before bed or whatever and I'm good for the whole day So I enjoy that about this product. I I do feel like it's worth it and if especially if you guys have any sort of like dry flaky skin or eczema stuff like that stuff like I have I think you'll really like this so I, I had to share that because it's been a solid solid game changer for me I really enjoy this right now don't judge me guys I just used it this morning but this is my real techniques makeup sponge I recently got back into using this and it's six dollars I got it at Target this thing is so good I forgot how nice it was I remember buying one of these like years ago and I don't 
know, mine, mine probably got old or ripped up or chewed by the cat or something, but I totally forgot how good this tool is. I just kind of rediscovered this and fell back in love with it because it's so multi-purpose, it's so cost-effective, like this is the bomb. I forgot how good it is. I really love it to blend my makeup and just kind of get more of an even look, more of a just like seamless type of look. And you can do it quickly with the flat edge. And then this side I like to use for concealer like under my eyes or I even use it for highlighter. Like I like to use the middle part for my cream highlight. Just blend it in like two seconds. You're good to go. It's six bucks, sometimes even less expensive at Ulta has sales on Real Techniques. I think they might be having a buy one get one half right now. I'm gonna go check, but I love this thing you guys. I just, it made me like excited to use my cream products again and just to like play with makeup. So I had to share it, I had to talk about it. Speaking of rediscovered favorites, I recently got back into this and it was because of watching a video that Emily Noel recently did. She did like iconic makeup from the drugstore, something along the lines of that. I might've got the title wrong, but that video just made me wanna go back out and try this again. It's from Maybelline. It's their Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and I have the shade Fair. I don't remember them making this shade. I remember like the brightener one and the light one, but I didn't realize they had one like this and it matches me really well. I'm wearing this underneath my eyes today. And let me tell you guys, I have had dark circles lately. I just really needed some help in that department. So I think that this was a perfect time in my life to rediscover this product. And I got the shade Fair. I went for Fair because I remember light being too uh, orangey on me and then bright the brightener shade the pink one is just like it, it just didn't look right it looked kind of unnatural and a little bit harsh on me underneath my eyes anyway so I think that fair is just right on the money it's great for the under eye because it does cover dark circles but also it's a couple shades lighter than my face so I feel like it does also add a little bit of that brightening effect to it and I just like the consistency the texture is so thin it doesn't feel like you have on a lot of concealer or like a lot of makeup on and I've even been using this to just spot conceal and on my light makeup days it is just so nice like it's not just an under eye concealer honestly I wear this anywhere that I want to cover up something and it just does that without having to really put a lot of work and effort into it So this has been the bomb. I'm so glad I got back into it Thank you so much to Emily because it's really good and I got another drugstore gem now This is a new product to me. I don't think it's a brand new product But recently I had to go to CVS and I needed to fill a prescription So while I was waiting, you know, I hit the makeup aisle like, you know, that's all I did The 30 minutes went by like that. I was just I was so content looking at all the makeup, walking up and down those aisles. While I was there, I came across this huge end cap of LA Girl and they had those concealers, the ones that everyone uses, but they also had a ton of other products that I have never seen before or that I just never realized were there. So I found this blush, it's called Just Blushing and the shade is Just Playful. It looks really plain Jane in the packaging, but honestly, these are the colors that end up looking the best on my skin tone. I have to go for these kinds of like muted shades. I love like muted, pinks or like rosy tones those are my ish for real i love these kinds of colors so i got just playful it was hard to tell in the store light what one would look good on me but i thought um let me google it real quick and i saw all these swatches just playful was the one i was like oh yes i gotta get that so that's what i did i googled it <laughs> and i was like okay let me get this shade and here's what it looks like i have this um just playful that's all i have on my cheeks for color today and the formula itself is just a simple classic powder Powder blush it's easy to put on it doesn't have any issues blending because it's a little bit on the softer side but I do enjoy this I think it's an incredible drugstore deal if you guys have LA girl at your CVS check out these blushes they are so so worth it and last but not least here I have a great new powder that I've been loving to set my makeup and I am NOT a huge powder person let me just start off by saying that my skin is dry so I, t I usually don't even wear powder or if I do it's just like a light dusting so I use this very lightly i don't use this like all over my face i don't bake with it or anything like that but this is the milk makeup blur and set powder and i recently did a photo shoot with milk makeup they had um a contest going on instagram and i was one of the people that won the contest i was like what the heck and it was such a cool experience i had a great time down there and we just did like promo shots and stuff for some of their new products coming out when i went to the studio they asked me hey can you show up without any makeup because we want to do it and we're going to do like certain colors and we have a look in mind and I felt so naked I felt so strange walking into a makeup studio without makeup on like it was just 
it was so funny but anyway they did my skin the makeup artist on set there really did a great job at making my skin look like skin but a little bit more perfected i felt like my skin looked very smoothed out it didn't have a powderiness to it and the way that they applied it was really interesting the makeup artist he used the sponge that it came with and he just kind of dipped it into the powder and then pressed it onto wherever he put the concealer we didn't even use it on the whole face because the foundation is matte already itself but this powder does contain hyaluronic acid acid in it and it does kind of give your skin a little bit of a filtered effect all right guys well there you have it that's it for my april favorites i pretty much just have a little handful of things that were exciting to me this month that i felt like were worth talking about and that i ended up really using throughout this month so i can't wait to talk to you guys again i hope to see you soon in my next video i'll have everything listed down below and i will link it if i can find it online with my affiliate link so if you do choose to shop with those links it directly supports my channel so thank you for that I really appreciate it and of course if you want to share your favorites let me know down below in the comments or you can always send me a dm if it's something that you want me to like urgently see um send me a dm because i don't always get to every comment i do read them but i don't always get to respond to all of them but dms i definitely try to respond to all of those so i just wanted to throw that out there um let me know i would love to hear from you guys and as always thank you so much for watching